Welcome back. I'm starting out here in the Corning Sky Camp. Fairly calm evening out there, aside from a few very latent showers just passing through. Many of them lake effect as a result of the northwest wind. So you got that little side effect that comes with the northwest wind. It's a little bit of rain sometimes, albeit though. It's a bit cold out there, not as cold though for some extra rain or at least some snow, I should say. Some of us seeing snow mainly in the higher elevations. Today though, we saw a high of 47, just one degree above the average. That was also what we thought the temperature was going to be today, but we exceeded that by just a little bit. A bit more on the uh, mild side this morning, 35 was the low as opposed to the average of 28. Now, temperature wise right now, mainly 40s across the region, so much of us are seeing rain as a result of that northwest wind. But again, some of those higher elevations get a little bit of flakes mixed in, but for the most part, mainly rain. 40 right now, Bath, 45, Elmira, 43 as you go further east towards Appalachian, 40, Wellsboro, Tioga. Go further north, you see 42 in Penyan and 37 off to the east in Cortland this evening. Now looking at the radar, here's where you see the wind direction. It's all coming in from the, from the northwest and that cold air interacting with the lakes, allowing for a little bit of extra rain to fall and some of that reaching as far inland as deep into central Pennsylvania. You're seeing mainly rain down there to the south. You're seeing a little bit of blue and pink mixed in there, mainly up to the northeast into the Cortland area along parts of the Interstate 81 corridor, more or less the surroundings of places like Syracuse, seeing more snow. In our area, we're seeing a lot more green. Again, mainly just bits of rain speckled across the radar. Nothing too significant. If anything, just adding maybe another hundredth or two to the rain gauge. But it's looking tomorrow, more dry but cloudy is what we're expecting. Temperatures only getting into the mid 40s, so very similar to today in terms of temperature, but the clouds do stick around. And we're likely to see that paired with some extra wind. And looking at the wind direction, we can see here mainly around the west and the northwest, but we're mainly expecting things to stay on the dry side. Very cloudy wind gusts getting into that 20, just up to around 25 miles per hour for a speed. Now going into the rest of our Sunday, very much a calm day, very much quiet, but then we have that next system taking shape off to the west. It gets here by Tuesday. This is mainly a rain driven system for us. The warm air will be fully encompassing the region, allowing for mainly rain to fall. Of course, the next system that's coming around for Thursday around the Thanksgiving holiday, much more likely to bring snow. This, however, bringing much more rain in terms of how much a decent helping. Once everything's all said and done, a couple tenths of an inch of rain expected after we are pretty much wrapped up as temperatures will be in the 50s by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday for our five degree guarantee. 46 is what we thought was going to happen today. 47 according to the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. So just one degree above. In terms of tonight, down to 35, mostly cloudy skies, but it's going to be a windy one. Gusts getting up to 30 miles per hour. And the seven day forecast, you've got temperatures up into the 50s after Sunday. A little bit of rain on Tuesday, more calm on Wednesday, but then the rain and snow comes around for the Thanksgiving holiday and Black Friday, even colder with some snow for next Saturday.